Today, there's two legacies of Henry Ford coming together, and that's the Henry Ford Museums, and then also the Henry Ford Hospital and Health System. What we're doing is we're taking some of the greatest violins from our collection, the greatest violins in the world, a Guanari, two Stradivari, and cat scanning them to understand how they were built, but most importantly, how people can look at them and understand how to remake instruments like that and give the sound back to the public. Each image is going to be 0.33 millimeters apart. So for the whole violin, we're going to have 1,820 slices. It's incredible. That's a lot of information to be able to condense to have 3D resolution. The violin is put on the CT bed here. We remove the strings and the tailpiece so that we don't have any metal artifact in the re result of the CT scan. We are measuring the air volume inside the, the violin body, which is an important acoustical formula that the Cremonese makers knew how to uh, calculate in the early 1700s, and we don't know how to do that. For me, all the cross-section slices are the most beautiful part to analyze because you see all the curves of not only the outside, but the inside of the instrument as well. Being able to analyze the data to have a complete mapping of, uh, for instance, thicknesses for graduations of the instrument, densities of the wood that was used, quality of the preservation of the instruments. We're able to have all the inside x-ray data to be able to see what the preservation of these instruments is. It'll be a large portfolio of information available to the world.